Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to properly wash your swimsuit. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is a plain old grocery bag. Okay, so this is where I keep all my wet swimming stuff after a swimming session. Okay, why? Because uh, I can reuse this after every session. Okay, so this is all my swim attire and I would uh, put it into the bathtub like this, okay? So it's all covered in chlorine water, pool water, how am I gonna clean it, okay? So first of all, never put this stuff in the washing machine, okay? I learned it the hard way, especially these guys, okay? What are these? These are jammers, okay? Guys, do not swim with trunks or board shorts or anything loose or not appropriate for swimming because it's just gonna create a lot of drag, okay? So I learned this the hard way by putting my first pair of jammers in the washing machine and doing all sorts of stuff that I'm gonna show you not to do, okay? So first of all, here's my jammers, okay? Here's my goggles, okay? Another hack, I put my goggles always in my swim cap after every swimming session to protect the lenses. Oh, by the way, here are my flip flops, okay? Always bring flip-flops to the pool because you never know what you're gonna step on. You might slip on stuff. I slip on a lot of stuff, so these are just a pair of uh, flip-flops I got from Thailand. Okay, so you put them all in the tub and then you start with cold water. Always cold water. Okay, give it a rinse. Good rinse. Done. Okay. Next. Okay. Flip flops, give them a shake. Okay. And you can just hang them to the side like that. That's easy. And um, the goggles, swim cap. Just give it a quick rinse. Okay. Nothing special. All right. And uh, goggles, you can I just hang them like that. Sim cap, hang them like that, okay? Right on the shower head, like that. Let that hang dry. Now, the swimsuit. This is something that you need to pay attention to, okay? Okay, never, ever ring it. Never do the Indian burn, okay? This is what I did the first time I had a pair of jammers. I did this motion here, and eventually they started stretching like a parachute. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to get rid of excess water in jammers, okay? So, okay, like this, like this. All you're gonna do is just squeeze it. Just squeeze it, just like that. That's all I'm doing, squeeze, and get all that excess water out, okay? Never stretch the fabric because this fabric stretches very easily over time, okay? Not the first day maybe, but after, I don't know, the 125th time you wash this guy, it's going to stretch if you ever do this kind of motion, okay? So never Indian burn. Okay? So I'm just gently squeezing excess water, and that's it. Very gently, okay? Now, I can put this on a clothes rack to dry if I want to, but never put this in the dryer. All right, so that's good enough. So all I'm gonna do, Again, just hang it like that. And that's it. Very simple. You just hang it and let it dry. Give it a day or two. And there you go. So another tip is uh, make sure you have another pair if you want to swim every day. Okay, you can just swap them out. There you go. So I always have a, a pair of uh, goggles, swim cap, and jammers in rotation. Okay, so I'll let that dry for a day and I'll use another pair for the next day. And that's it, okay? I hope this video was helpful and uh, get out there and swim, all right? Take care, love you, bye.